Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday to you. Today I'm coming to you from my little home office here to share another story. Uh, this one isn't from a storybook, so I don't have any pictures to show you. But it is adapted from a story called Kindness to the Thousandth Generation by Anna Levy Lyons. Today I will be sharing the story of the way one small change can create a big positive impact. I hope it serves as an inspiration to do what is important. It relates to the times we are in, in the sense that we get to make a positive change on both the health of humanity the health of our, and the health of our environment simply by staying home. It was a strange and historic moment one morning in 1995 when a long truck pulled into Yellowstone National Park carrying eight Canadian wolves. There had been much discussion about this moment for years from scientists and politicians. The day had finally arrived and nobody knew exactly what would happen. 65 years prior to this, all of the wolves in Yellowstone National Park had been killed by hunters. During that time, the ecosystem suffered and many species declined. Elk, free from their predators, had munched the trees and bushes around the waterways down to stubs. The beavers no longer had good materials to make their dams, and so they were failing. The numbers of fish and animals that live in the water dropped dramatically. Birds of all kinds were struggling. The banks of the rivers had eroded and the rivers had become shallower and, sh and slower. Everything was slow, slowing and declining. It was as if the life force in the entire region was fading. The group of wolves that arrived that morning grew and grew to be a large healthy pack. Soon enough, the plants, the beavers, the fish, and the birds all began to return as well. Even the elk fared well as they moved deeper into the forest rather than snacking on the water. Snacking along the water, excuse me. The rivers themselves changed shape. They grew deeper and faster as the soil on our banks was eroding less. Balance was brought back to the ecosystem and the life there, thanks to the wolves simply being themselves. The biologists tipped the first domino and nature did the rest. Next time you're wondering if there is true balance occurring in the world and if our actions truly make a difference, I hope you'll consider the story of the wolves and keep that in your heart. We matter and our actions matter so much deeper than we could ever know. Every decision we make ripples out through a very complex world. We are all connected and everything we do affects others, who then affect others. We shape the very fabric of reality. It is up to each one of us to do our best to create ripples of love, compassion, responsibility, and respect. Hurt does multiply, but love multiplies exponentially more. When we perform one small act of courageous love, even just one, it can trigger a cascade of goodness that pours out into our lives, into the lives of our families, our communities, to the ecosystems of the world itself. Not just the third or the fourth, but to the thousandth generation. Thanks for listening today. I hope you'll keep this story in your heart. I hope you'll share with me your thoughts about it. And if you have children at home or if there's children listening, perhaps you want to do a little reflection through play by taking out some dominoes and thinking about the way that each of us can be a domino too. So our change is bigger than we could ever imagine. Way to be the change. Love you all.